Hi, welcome back to AQA Certificate for the Mathematics GCSE. Today we're on Chapter 4.2, Solving Simultaneous Equations. This is a great A video. I hope you enjoy it. Let us start. So all you've seen so far from math is equations with only one variable. What if there are two variables? Then you are completely stuck because you have not enough information to solve equation like that. And in order to solve two variables, you need two equations. And there will be two solutions if one of them is a quadratic, or sometimes there aren't any solution if it's quadratic. But yeah, basically, if you plot the graph where two uh, where the two lines crosses is what you want to find and so that is kind of a coordinate geometry kind of question but it works algebraically and this chapter is all about algebra not coordinates so there are two ways of solving these kind of question I'll talk about them uh, separately the first method is by substitution. What do I mean by substitu uh, substitution is that I think I misspelled. Yeah, I misspelled. I left out a T. That doesn't matter. I've s yeah. Okay. So how do you substitute a, a variable? What you need to do for the first step is to make x or y a subject. And I think I've covered that before, uh, which if I didn't, I will say it again, which is making one of the variable uh, alone on one side, or the rest goes to the other side. So take the bottom one, for example, I can make x the subject by turning it into x equals 17 minus 2y and that works as um, a subject equation. Then now put the x and y value into the other equation. Don't, don't just put it back into the same equation because things will cancel out and you'll get like 0 equals 0 which you get nothing out of it uh, but if you put x into that equation you result in something that looks kind of like this and by now you kind of have the clue uh, have one clue of what to do which is to solve the equation and I have solved the equation, but I'll put it up step by step in case you want to follow what was happening. Expand the bracket to get this, then you have to rearrange to collect like terms. So that 7y equals 49 and 7 we know, uh, well y we know is 7. And I have overlapped these kind of figures kind of thing. So yeah there we go y is equal to 7 alright so we don't need the previous uh, previous steps for now we only need that y is equal to 7 so with one answer what to do next to solve the other uh, equation now we just want to find x no matter which equation I use so which one is more simplified. I'll say the bottom equation is more simplified. So we can draw the equation x plus 2 times 7 is equal to 17 because they are uh, the two equations are true at the same time. So the x value must be equal to the y value so we can use this to substitute uh, the x or the y into the equation, hence it is called substi uh, substitution. Okay, so let us um, simplify the whole thing. So x plus 14 equals 17, then 
x is 17 minus 14, which is 3. So now we have y equals 7, x equals 3, and that is the answer to this uh, simultaneous equation. So I've got another method to show you. The second method is called elimination. Elimination is basically cancel out things that you don't want to see or remove it from the equation. So the first step of elimination is to match a variable. Either x or y, it doesn't matter. In this case, I think x is easier to match because this is just one x. If we were, uh, if we were to match y, we'll have to make the coefficient the same for both equations. So this equation have to uh, multiply by 2 bottom equation will have to multiply by 3 which is a lot of work if you can help it use a single kind of uh, co coefficient that is 1 which is a lot easier to manipulate so if I were to match x as a variable then what I need to do is first of all make uh, make it so they have the same subject which is y value so I rearrange the equation to get that 2y is equal to negative x plus 17 I use negative x right here instead of 17 minus x for purpose you'll see it later alright so now we multiply the whole thing by 2 so that the coefficient match um, so that if the whole thing is multiplied by 2 the left multiplied by 2 is 4y equals negative 2x plus uh, 34 which is this equation so now with all these information in front of us uh, which is kind of complicated we have just changed around some things but we haven't calculated anything yet so now we have to compare uh, the equation that has the same um, coefficient of a specific variable which is either x or y I have conveniently made another uh, pair that is directly um, above and below each other which is a lot easier to read so now let us look at elimination Elimination means either to add two equations together or subtract two equations together to remove one of the uh, variables. In this case, we have a positive 2x and a negative 2x. In order to change that into zero, we need to add both of them because one is negative, one is positive, and they eliminate each other. And this is why it's called elimination. If both of them are positive, then you subtract one from another. Uh, doesn't matter which side, uh, which equation you subtract it from, it's still gonna be the same. So the second step from uh, is to s subtract or add the equation, which I have done so. To add these two, x term are removed. 15 plus 34 is 49 and 7y on the left so we've got 7y equals 49 so y is equal to 7 and that you found y and it matches the last one and now you solve the equation again which um, so c is solving this equation then d is to solve the other equation which is to find what x is so i think that up here this equation is really useful or rather this one is more useful in this case because we want to find y and it is the subject with x uh, we have y doesn't matter sorry my bad uh, use this equation instead 
so that we can say that 2y is equal to 70 minus x y I'm not I'm not work my brain is not working right right I can't speak today okay so scratch all that it's x equals 70 minus 2y 2y is 7 times 2 which is 14 so we can draw that x is equal to 17 minus 14 and x is equal to 3 there we go and we have the same answer from the last method so elimination and substitution are the same but different so that's how you solve simultaneous equations alright so uh, for elimination make sure that you know what the sign is it's not uh, the trigonometry function sign it is a uh, positive or negative um, the number so that you can find if you need to add the equation or uh, subtract the equation for substitution uh, just turn one of the variable into the subject and you are good to go so that's it for me uh, for simultaneous equations so uh, here are three different questions for simultaneous equations I want you to find out what is x and y in both uh, all three questions and uh, yeah you have a bit of time to pause the video and I will give you the answer all right this these are the answer to the three questions that I've created um, so I hope you get them right uh, if you enjoyed this video I hope you will um, like comment subscribe and share with your friends if you want to because if it's helpful I want to help as many people as possible so yeah uh, that's it from me uh, and I will see you next time